gonna do we're gonna do a quick point shoe podcast. You don't have to actually do that much. We'll just do a releve in each shoe. Okay. So we got two two pairs of shoes. These are like somewhat medium stiff. Well, yes, it's not extra stiff. It's just stiff. Stiff, and then those are one medium. level of softness down from this, right? Mm -hmm. So here's, because we, we've gotten this question before, but you weren't on point, so I couldn't really show it. Okay, so I think Gainer Menden is the best shoe, by far. Hopefully they stay in business. Like, we were on the phone with them and seemed a little, little nervous about that, so let's hope they stay in business, because they make the best shoe by far, for anyone. But for adults especially, and I'm gonna, we're gonna show you why, so go ahead and just stand. So here's the thing about point shoes. As usual, what I give you is going to be different than what you've heard before. This is what it is. Okay, so it's not a lesson about how to work on point. We're talking about the shoes themselves and the relationship between shoes and your technique and who does what. Okay, so just releve, you know, the best you can. All right. Okay, so these are slightly uh, stiffer, which means they support your weight more on the up. Try to come down. The problem is, yeah, this is exactly what I need them to see. Come down. Okay, you see, but because they're stiff, you can't come down. Now, put on the soft ones real quick. I'm sure you can imagine what you're about to see. So with point, now if, if you go over to the institute and, and start working the, the program, what you'll see is that the way she comes off point and you must come off point, you, there's no hopping, there's no jumping, you never lose contact with the floor ever. Not, and then we, we've already, we taught that whole technique over there, so you can go over there and look at that. But this is just an additional bit of insight. Right, so let me just repeat what you just saw. So with the stiffer shoe, it supports you on the way up, and that can be a little bit deceiving as to, oh, this is the right shoe because it supports me on the way up. So now, now watch. What you're gonna see is she doesn't have as much support on the way up, but she can come down because the shoe's softer. Go ahead and do, use all your power that you can. It's fine. Up. Now, she can go up fine. You see the little wobble at the top because it's not that stiff of a shoe. So the soft shoe means it rely, no. It relies on your strength more. You have to have strong turnout core back legs, right? But you get on the shoe easier. It's, you see that? It's easier to be flat on the shoe. Now come down, hold yourself up. And smoother on the way down. Stays turned out too. Let's do it one more time. Pull yourself up. So with the softer shoe, right? Not as much support from ball to toe, but straighten everything, loosen your back and hold it and come down. And, but, right, so relax. So that's how you have to come down off a shoe and, and go up. So ultimately, you want the softer shoe, but if you're not strong enough to do point, you'll hurt your feet, right? So hard shoe isn't the answer. However, the soft shoe isn't the answer either. So what's the answer? Strength, strength and coordination. That's what point work requires. It, doesn't, it, it really, even the shoe itself, it's a detail and you can use, see we have both, both types of shoes because she's right at a point of just about strong enough to really do point, but still kind of working out some of the details of the turnout. So sometimes we use the hard shoe to focus on the up, the up, the up, the up, up, strength and strength. And so as I'm adjusting the legs, you'll see it in the lesson on the Institute, hard shoes for that, right? So we can adjust, she's a little more support but then we can't really work the down effectively yet. Now, if you're strong, here's the irony of the whole thing. If you're strong enough, then you can use a harder shoe, go up, go down. It's a matter of strength. Or you can use a soft shoe up and down. It depends how it feels to you when you are actually dancing. That's a personal choice, right? Mm -hmm. But just understand, it isn't the shoe that does anything, right? Now, you, you, once you're strong and coordinated and trained, you choose whatever shoe you want however it feels to you because you can work with it. But I would say Gainer Menden always for everyone. That's just my opinion. Well, the, I watched some of the Russian podcasts about ballet and they switched. The theaters, the theaters officially? They switched to Gainer Menden and they were talking about like some of them how to, <coughs> how, you know, 
all of this outfit, how to put it on and all that, blah, blah, blah. Well, but some of the ballerinas, they said that they only work on the stiff shoe. Well, right, it's up and to them. And they also explaining why, because their feet over... Arched? Like over arched. And yes, I mean, I don't know. And it's just, oh, because, it's but that's a problem with training. Right, that's a training so, problem, not a shoe. You see what I mean? That, see, they're going to... But they also don't roll down correctly. See, if, if you over arch, now it's like having hyperextended legs. You, you, you can't move from an, an hyperextended leg position. You have to straighten and then go. Like, with, like you don't have this anymore, but like with a kid has it. So just standing, to do a plie, your, your legs can't be an X. You have to get there, then you can do it. And that's why you see this release of butt. And then with hyperextended people who haven't been trained properly. Same thing with an over flexible arch. Your, oh, your, your weight is now over it you have to recover to nearly straight to then be able to come down. That's why they hop down and hop up. Mm -hmm. You see, this, the flexibility has just ruined the whole concept of technique. Right? Okay. So that's why we do strength building. So you strength, strengthen your legs so that they don't hyperextend. You strengthen your feet and don't overstretch them in the first place so that they're functional. You need functional feet. They, it's, it doesn't matter how they look. I mean, obviously, you have to have enough, like you have the right amount, where it points just enough so you can straighten. You, so you're straight from your shoulder all the way to the point shoe. That's basically what you want. That's a standing leg, for example, right? Mm -hmm. That's it. You don't want any more than that. You start going over the shoe, now you're fighting yourself. And so you get a stiffer shoe. Well, why not just have stronger legs and butt and feet? The shoe is meaningless. No, I also notice when you do the stiff one, <clears throat> So when you go on point, it actually supports more under the... The instep. The instep, mm -hmm. like right under the heel. Mm -hmm. Especially yeah. because I have two feet different slightly. Mm -hmm. I mean, this one is more stiffer. So the ankle. I, the ankle, yeah. yeah. So when I go, I actually, in the stiffer ones, I feel... It's the, a sickle a little bit. Yeah. yeah, but I also feel the in, in, instep, right? The one pushes one. So mm -hmm. I kind of like, oh yeah, I feel it. That's right. So I can sit on it. Yeah, but okay, yeah, that's oh, right, right, right. So, but what happens is you feel the support, but it's sickled. Right. So, with a softer shoe, you have mobility. See, what you need to understand you need mobility in your ankles right. on point, right? You don't need them so you don't, not flexibility, mobility, there's a difference. Mobility is, comes from strength. So, that's why we do those ankle circles with articulated ankle circles religiously. You need not so much, but you will. Is, if, if your ankles are stiff, they're going to break. Mm. And not only that, if they're stiff, the knee, it, it's the whole, now we're back in tension land again. And then you get hurt. That's how they get hurt. They're not, you know. And the, the, the misunderstanding is that flexibility is mobility, and it is not. Flexibility is instability, which creates tension, which stiffens things up when you need them not to be stiff, and then they break. Mobility comes from the control. You control your body, your releve, for example, plie, straighten, releve, straighten, right? But you still need a, a little adjustment room. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it breaks if you get it wrong. Like, you're, you're, someday, you know, you're going to step someday and it's not going to be exactly right. But because you're strong, you, you, okay, you feel in, unstable, you straighten more mm -hmm. and pull up more. You don't cave into the shoe. You go, and it will go. And then you'll get on the shoe. But the only way you can do that is with strength. Like I'm talking about arabesque. If you go up to arabesque like ballerines do now and they just flop, mm -hmm. they kind of crawl to arabesque and then the, the back leg is, is hanging there and the back's hanging all your weights now, you're just going to collapse or miss completely. Yeah, so the shoe doesn't mean that much. But Gainer Menon's a way better shoe. They last longer. You don't have to you know, have a, open up a workshop to you know, do all that nonsense. Why I'm asking because there's a lot of it even well, there's a lot of different podcasts and they're all talking about different how yeah, they I set know. up the shoes. But mm -hmm. I'm going to just say because I'm also interested sometimes to see what Russians propose and, and I look at them, mm -hmm. what they suggest. And they suggest that you have to have the shank going right where, where is the arch. Like when, naturally when you go arching, mm -hmm. so you go shank all the way and it's supposed to like stiff here and it supports you right under the band. Right, where you go like on the shoe, right? So it's gonna like whatever. Yeah. So it supports right there, right? Under. Like, right under. And that's when they suggest and like that's where you stiffen it up till that point so it supports 
they are, I guess, the foot. Well, to, a, I, to yeah. a point, I mean, it's kind of a hybrid, so, okay. But what I'm saying, you know, like, there isn't, maybe it's working for the people who have, like, because they have, they're professionals, and they have all those flexible banana feet, but for me, for example, because they have, they're different, and I feel like, like when a stiff one and it goes right under the heel, it feels very, very uncomfortable and it feels like it's a little bit in the way, like for the foot to move. In the well, no, that's what, that's what I was going to tell you is the reason not to do stiff, I mean, we do it sometimes, is that you're a little bit like this, but it's not that, it's because your hip's not there. Right. So, but to move your hip effectively, this, the stiff shoe doesn't allow it. That's why I have to... Right. Do that, but with the soft or softer, there's still a shank in the shoe. It's right. still there. Okay, it's just softer. Then you can make the adjustments technically the right way, placement, and it just will go. And then you get, you understand the the the, the wh wherever whatever the shoe is doing is coming from your body, mm -hmm. the, the whole body if it's right. What you're talking about is like with the, the banana feet are useless. Well, no, I'm talking about you know? because uh, when when people put the podcast on, they give, they give general information and they give what they do. And the thing is, just you know, like for example, for me, because I have a, such a different feet, and I notice that, and when I now put it on myself, and then I start thinking what they suggested as a, and I'm like, no, you know, I kind of feel that it doesn't really help me. It's in the way that very yeah. stiff shank because it doesn't, it limits it, especially this one, to, I'm not saying that I need to mo ro rotate from the ankle, but it limits the leg. I know, and we just restated right. this a couple of times. So that's what I'm saying. But their, like, their legs are different too. Right, but they're looking, I guess, from the people like, who's the more like, professional and they have all no, these no, legs. No, no, I'm saying the saying professionals that. have different ankles too. Right. Yeah. They all have the same thing you have. They just stretch their way they think out of it. Right. it. It doesn't work under pressure. If you're sitting on the floor stretching a foot or, or doing like this, that doesn't mean anything. When you're up on point and your weight is bearing on your shoe, that's when you find out what is real. And right. if you watch closely, I don't pay much attention now, but you, you, that's why they miss their leg half. Well, right, that's what I have noticed with this foot, <clears throat> for example. If, if it's, the shank is in the way, it feels like it doesn't allow me to work so much. Mm -hmm. And I feel that, yes, I'm kind of like either using the shoe to stay up, but I don't really roll it down or, you know, I right. don't know, it's very like no, it's, awkward. It's awkward because you just started, but I'm right. saying that what resolves all of those issues is a strong coordinated body, not tense. Okay. And flexibility is the enemy of stability. So banana feet is a total waste of energy and time. It just creates instability. That's what that does. It's, there's proof everywhere. Just look online, oh, falling down. It's, okay. You don't want to be over the shoe. So if you have naturally really flexible feet, the idea is you'll use a, 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 tough, a, a, a um, stiffer shoe to build strength in your feet as long as it's coming from everything else. Mm -hmm. See, there's always the if when I say, if you're placed, now we can talk about the rest. If you're not placed, it's a, there's nothing to talk about. But if you're placed, yeah, you, and you have just naturally really flexible feet from, from nature, then you use a, a, tough, a tighter, tougher shoe so you can build the strength in your feet. So they become less flexible, more mobile. We've got to be clear about this. Mm -hmm. So if you have tight feet, you need to stretch your feet in addition to building strength in a softer shoe. See what I mean? But, you, but when you're learning points, especially as an adult, because you have your full body weight, it's, you might use both types of shoes or three different types of shoes in the beginning, and then you'll work your way to the type of shoe you feel most comfortable in based on your strength, your coordination, your turnout, your body, the whole, all the factors. So when you, when you get to the final decision of what you use, you have to factor in everything. Everything and as you're training, this is not your problem. It's it's mine. Is to go okay. Well, so your feet are flexible, just the right amount, not too much, not too little. So we don't need to use a hard shoe in order to strengthen them more, to stiffen them up, and we don't need to stretch them a bunch. See what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's always finding the perfect balance of everything. It's like a symmetry thing. Not too, not too, just right. All right. So super flexibility is instability. Too tight is not, now you're breaking things. Mobility is the perfect 
harmony of strength, coordination, and flexibility. So